Now, this content is not going to be for anybody under 15. And for the rest of you, I'd like to see a show with you underneath the roof of David's Werner Gallery, where he is hosting a female painter, Lisa Yuskevich. Now, I must admit, first time seeing the work of art on a screen of my computer, I really hated it. And the reason why I've disliked it so much is because I didn't understand why her nude female should be coming in a direct dialogue with a contemporary viewer. Now, seeing the works of art in flesh in the show, I must admit that Lisa can paint. And if you're an artist who's looking for a great painting, please do not miss the show. It's really worth it. And lastly, I'd like to discuss a color and position of the figure. So let's go look through the canvases and let's see it together. Welcome to Paris as we engage in rendezvous with Lisa Yuskevich. Before we step into the main gallery, we are in direct confrontation with the nude standing figure of a white female, a centerpiece of her visual language. No apologies, no shame. A main gallery waits with four canvases, each work claiming its singular attention, no peripheric distractions. So let us unpack. As we zoom in into the each canvas, there is interplay in voyeurism. A viewer, you viewing, as much as a viewer being viewed. Each work asks you to participate in engagement with hypersexualized body and puzzle up the scene for yourself. You meant to not know what is going on. There are no limits to a storyline on the surface of canvas. It is fascinating as vastness of your own fantasy world. The female does not exist, and yet it does and always did. If this figure offends you, what about the tradition in which white female is depicted throughout the history on walls of greatest museums, white, nude, and sexualized? Canvases encapsulate scene within the scene, but also make you taste a flavor of a gender type that are depicted. Letters, chairs, elements propped casting the shadows. Here, in the work of Golden Studio, Lisa depicts herself as 20-year-old. Stepping closer, despite the use of yellow, it isn't a happy painting after all. Whether you like the work or not, the courage of the artist is stepping to the forefront here. And so if you think on terms, is there a freedom in art? As in any area, if you wish to live the life in audacity of your personal freedom and deviate from norms of majority, punch is coming. And the question is, can you take it? Moving into the second viewing room, here we are facing more intimate scale. The breasts purging from canvas, this is also direct F to modernism. And to the idea, what is allowed for men is forbidden to women. Lisa is freeing her female and allowing her to be in full rights, vulgar if she wants to be. Do you remember when was the last time you gave yourself a permission to be free? I hope you visit the show and if you do, please do share your thoughts. Follow for more.